What's going on guys, my name is James Collects and if you're finding me for the first time, I'm both a nail collector and an eBay reseller. This is all the bits I picked up throughout the Saturday car boot. Uh, you know yesterday I said that I went to hopefully go until October. I don't think we might get as far as that. Um, apparently this particular car boot finishes in two weeks. Yeah, we're not going to make the end of October. So I'm going to have another look around because I know there's a winter car boot that I normally do on a Saturday. But that can be very very hit and miss so we'll see what's going on and see what, what we'll do i don't know we'll sort it out so first thing i bought was a bundle of toys i paid six pound for the lot and here is what was in that bundle we have a book of monsters from harry potter it all seems to be okay apart from it's missing the battery cover which is a bit of a pain in the backside but i think the last one of these i had which was um i don't think it would unlock and i think i sold that for about 17 quid so I'd imagine it's probably be about the same again, um, especially with Christmas, because everyone loves the fourth quarter. Some R2-D2 thingy-majiggy. Um, it, it does something. I've got no idea what, though. Uh, it takes batteries. It's, it's obviously run out of batteries. I believe it's some sort of a torch. Star Wars bundle. Another R2-D2. Uh, I, I don't know what's going on. It's just... Star Tours. So it's obviously from Disneyland or something. But yeah, Star Wars bundle. And again, Star Wars bundle, apart from this is like a little handheld torchy type thing. Yeah, some sort of a spaceship. Uh, it's incomplete, so I don't know, might just bin it to be fair. It's from 1998, I think. But yeah, it looks Star Trek-y, Star Wars-y type thing. A VTech sing-along radio. Um, to be fair, I've got loads of VTech bits now, so yeah. I That's enough of that. Well, that works. A, a leapfrog thingy. Let's fly to the sky in my airplane. It's quite cute, actually. We have a bag of Star Trek bits. So we've got a couple of Enterprises. Um, what else have we got? That's, that's a really weird looking data. This is from 1999. Okay, this actually could be a decent little lot. There's two of that guy. Didn't he take over and be captain at some point? I don't know. Maybe that, I, I don't know. Wharf, two wharfs. Stick it together. Uh, I hate Star Trek. Another bundle, a part of this same six pound bundle, by the way. So we have in here, we have a Batman. So we've got a Batman in some really strange looking armor. Some little skeleton dude, no idea who he is. And a Strider from the Lord of the Rings, which you guys can't quite see properly because of the light. Maybe wearing a white t-shirt wasn't the best idea, but yeah, Strider. And the last part of the bundle, uh, these Heroclix, I think. Um, these look to be marvelly. So, they're down as fantasy. And, um, all right, so we have, oh, these are quite cool. That almost looks like a scroll. There's some horrible hair as well. Uh, that's vile. So that looks like a scroll potentially. We've got Sabretooth, a cute little Iron Man figure, another Sabretooth, Electro with a broken hand. So that's Bin. Hobgoblin, a scroll warrior, which you guys can just about see maybe. That looks cool. A Hydra medic, another thing that I presume to be a scroll warrior of some sort. And a little Iron Man figure. Is that. Is that the Mark 1? I think that's the Mark 1. Doesn't look to be bulky enough to be uh, Ironmonger. So that's that. As I say, that was £6 for everything. Then there was another store that always sold, uh, sells a lot of old stuff. There was a few bath bottles. Um, there was, I think it was Leonardo and Raphael from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, but they wanted £5 each, which was a bit excessive for me. Uh, but I did get this from him. It's another Wally. Uh, yeah, probably going to be keeping this because they're just too damn cute and adorable and I still think they're going to bring out a sequel um, or at least have Wally feature in another film. They have to because it's just adorable. Don't know if it works though. No, in my luck, probably doesn't, but paid a pound. I need to start listing my Nerf guns so I ended up buying a load of unofficial darts. Paid £5 for a lot, which isn't too bad. A couple of terrible looking drones paid 50 pence each. I really don't expect these to be worth a great deal. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Then we have the deal of the day for myself. Uh, picked up 
this whole lot for 40 quid the console was 20 the games were 20 uh, I, I just want to get rid of the console because I just don't want it it's not particularly nice it's quite dirty in fact <laughs> I think I'm actually going to put on gloves so these are the gloves that I normally wear when I'm cleaning things with uh, white vinegar because vinegar stinks so glove time so it doesn't come with any power or any cables whatsoever it's got a couple of controllers but I'll probably try and do those separately uh, and a couple of memory card thingy jigs as well so yeah it's this isn't that bad but inside there is you can't see it from there hang on hang on hang on hang on GTA 2 which we do have as part of the bundle so I'm just going to probably douse it in vinegar to try and get as much of the staining off as possible it's not a particularly nice smell but then I'll just put some cheap perfume over it um, but white vinegar is such a good cleaning agent it just destroys all the grime so two memory cards and is that rumble pack I think that's a rumble pack but you can see look at that dirt it's absolutely disgusting hence why I wouldn't be wearing gloves so yeah there's three controllers in total that, that is just disgusting um I don't think it's anything untoward but I just don't want to risk it it's just not nice so uh yeah uh. next up is the games so we do have Choo Choo Rocket uh, I think I've already got this one so if I do then I'm probably just gonna stick this with the uh console and just in theory pay myself 20 pounds to buy it off myself so yeah case is a bit buggered but it will do Tony Hawk skateboarding 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 comes complete with manual and game Soul Reaver Legacy of Kane uh really decent condition actually um so yeah we're starting the Mega Drive the Mega Drive Dreamcast collection Tokyo Highway Challenge comes complete with manual and game and everything else Ready to Rumble Boxing, uh, I remember playing this a lot actually, uh, yeah it comes complete, not too bad. Dynamite Cop, uh, yeah the case is battered but it will do. Sega GT, Revolt, Sydney 2000, Crazy Taxi. And of course Grand Theft Auto 2, but that is not it because inside this there is Marvel vs Capcom. So for 20 quid for the games, I don't think it's too bad. Uh, the console, I think maybe 35? I don't think I've actually got the cables to test it because I've I've put my Dreamcast that I bought a little while ago in storage so I've got nothing to test it with so I think I'll just clean it and just sell it as untested and then just do the same with the controllers maybe maybe do two of them together uh, and then yeah I don't know we'll see what's going on United States wrestling belt that was a quid from the same couple I actually got a few games as well just missed out on the Wii stuff um, I know that one of the other guys got hold of that but I did get some bits off of them. So for £5 we did get Hurdy Gurdy on the PS2, Road Rash Classics, Champions League 1999-2000, Knockout Kings 99, Michael Owen WLS 99. So yeah, paid £5 for, for those five games, which wasn't too bad. I think the Wii games wanted £10 for three. So yeah, not bad at all. And then I got loads and loads of Gandalfi Hobby hobby hobbit bits uh, paid a pound each got 20 of them so i've already listed them i actually did it while walking around in the car boot which is quite cool and then uh, from dave one of the guys who i deal with on a regular basis hello if you're watching no doubt you are uh, paid five pound and we got a 1997 squirtle a 2016 mewtwo that's just going to go into the giveaway a rayquaza again giveaway a nintendo 3ds case now i bought this for myself simply because it looks to be in the wally colors and I've still not compared it next to Wally, so I would say that's in Wally colours. That's really cool. I like that. And a 2014 Super Mario case of Toad. Uh, there's, there's now in it. It would have been nice if they would put 50 quid in there for me, but you can't win them all. And that's everything. That is the whole of Saturday's car boot done. Uh, as I say, it's all going to start changing, so we'll see how much long this one goes on for as i say i heard it's only going to be on for another two weeks and then that is it it's just going to die off completely so i'll have to see next week what's going on no my luck it's now going to be chucking down the rain um but either way we'll, we'll work something out because uh we're still in emotion although i'm bloody shattered uh we're, we're still going strong so uh that is it for me as always thanks for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will see you lovely lot in the next video good gaming and happy collecting adios